The President of the United States says that if a foreign government came offering their election help this time around, and I'm quoting, I think I'd want to hear it, he said. In other words, the central point of the Mueller report, a foreign adversary, including Russia, seeking to influence American democracy, the man who took an oath to defend it, says he's okay with that and says his FBI director who thinks otherwise is wrong. And Vladimir Putin's help? Fine by him, apparently. He says it's done all the time, just normal opposition research, says President Trump. History says otherwise. It is not done all the time or even some of the time. It's not normal. We need to start with what the president told ABC News' George Stephanopoulos about foreign meddling. Listen. Your campaign this time around, if foreigners, if Russia, if China, if someone else offers you information on an opponent, should they accept it or should they call the FBI? I think maybe you do both. I think you might want to listen. I don't, there's nothing wrong with listening. If somebody called from a country, Norway, we have information on your opponent. Oh, I think I'd want to hear it. You want that kind of interference? Elections. It's not an interference. They have information. I think I'd take it. If I thought there was something wrong, I'd go maybe to the FBI if I thought there was something wrong. But when somebody comes up with oppo research, right, they come up with oppo research. Oh, let's call the FBI. The FBI doesn't have enough agents to take care of it. But you go and talk honestly to congressmen. They all do it. They always have. And that's the way it is. It's called oppo research. I was President Trump tonight claiming this is just the way it's done. Joining us now is former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper, author of Facts and Fears, Hard Truths from a Life in Intelligence. Director Clapper, is this just the way it's done? Well, it certainly isn't, Anderson. And, uh, you know, I, I've run out of uh, adjectives uh, to, to react, to describe the reaction to this. You know, incredible, amazing, I think stunning and disturbing uh, that the president would uh, advocate the, the use of uh, accepting uh, information provided by a foreign uh, country, notably a foreign adversary, and in doing so, completely overlooking the fact that this could pro well be, probably would be, disinformation. In other words, completely phony. A and uh, to uh, endorse that, and then in doing so, endorse, uh, undercut the the FBI and uh, and its director. I just is just in in incredible, and I, I can't get over the duplicity of it. Uh, here, uh, all the criticism about the the uh, infamous dossier, and uh, you know you can't use it because it's not it's not valid. You can't accept it. Uh, that's uh, and then in this case, well, and you know it's okay. And we're looking to the future here. We're not we're not talking about the past. I thought Josh Campbell in the previous segment made a, some great points about that. Well, you know, I'm mean, reminded of when candidate Trump said, you know, Russia, if you're out there, I'd love to get those, you know, Hillary Clinton missing Hillary Clinton emails, the 30,000 emails, you know, if you're listening, Russia. And we know from the Mueller report that hours later, uh, you know, uh, hackers, Russian hackers, made made attempts. Right. Uh, it, it's essentially kind of echoing that again. I mean, it's basically a clarion call saying, you know what, if, yeah, if, if, well, if a country came to me again, I would, I'd, I'd listen to it. Yeah, the Russians are going to, uh, they're, they're going to do this, they're going to re repeat what they did in, uh, in 2016, they're going to repeat it in 2020. And now what President Trump has done is encouraging them uh, uh, to, to do so. Uh, again, it's just, uh, it, it's, it, it's stunning. Yeah, and, and I mean, again, it, you know, people people just kind of roll their eyes at this point. It, it, it bears repeating, this is not normal behavior of a president. I'm not even sure he under, I mean, I don't even know if he understands or doesn't care what, what, what the ramifications of, of this are. But if any other president had said anything resembling this, you know, uh, Republicans in Congress would yeah. have understandably, uh, you know, called can him a traitor. Imagine, yeah, Anderson, can you imagine if uh, Barack Obama uh, if he were still president somehow, said something like that, the Republicans would be going nuts uh, over this. Uh, it's, you know, it, it's uh, the, the president, hard, hard, to, hard to describe. The president is saying that the FBI director is wrong on this. I mean, Chris Ray is the man he appointed. Uh, again, if you're Christopher Ray, how do you react to, to this tonight? Because, I mean, again, this is goes against, you know, he's saying don't, I mean, he said maybe I would, you know, I'd, I'd get the information and then maybe call the FBI. In other parts of this interview, he talks about how, you know, he's never called the, the FBI for anything. Maybe he's kicked people out of his office or but that he would never pick up the phone and call the FBI. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised that he'd never call the FBI. That's, that's not a startling revelation. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he, he just said flat out, uh, Chris Ray's wrong. And uh, Chris Ray is not wrong. Uh, I mean, there are legal implications here. And if you get information provided by a, a foreign nation state, uh, particularly if it's coming from the likes of an adversary like China or Russia, uh, you know, to me, the first duty is call the FBI. The, you know, I mean, if, if, the, uh, if a foreign government reached out to an American citizen, someone said they were from, you know, Chinese intelligence or from a Chinese think tank, and reached out to American citizen, uh, you know, with a asking for documents or willing to give some documents for, you know, I'd, some sort of a contact. If that American citizen didn't contact the FBI, they could get in trouble. Well, they could. I mean, depending on the uh, on the circumstance, but, uh, that, that could easily happen. Yeah. What do you think this sends? What message does this send to to foreign governments? You think like uh, like Russia? Um, I mean, we talked about this a little bit, but it, it, essentially, you really believe this, it, it sends a message to them that, go ahead, the gates are open for 2020, and I'm open for business on this. Oh, exactly. I mean, th this just simply encourages them to uh, do something they're going to do anyway. And by the way, because of the revelations and the level of detail in the Mueller report, uh, which the Russians have clearly already gone to school on, it's going to be harder to detect what they're doing. Yeah. And now we have the president essentially encouraging the Russians uh, to continue to do what they did in, in 2016. Yeah. General Clapper, appreciate it. Thank you very much.